Wow. Come here. Oh. Hey. Duncan was bought in a market for 800 baht. Oh. Like so many of these uh, cute-looking animals, I mean, you can see by her face why people would want to have her as a pet. Why is she, why is she funny with me? Uh, she's a bit scared of men. She, like a lot of the babies that we get, she's, um, her mum was being poached from the wild to sell a baby in a market as a pet. Okay. And I mean, they're so cute, you can tell why people want them, but... So men might have done that? Uh, yeah, I think so. And, oi, 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 okay. When you see these little faces, you can understand why people fall under their spell, why they would pay some money to have a photo or to have a hold. But this is the problem, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't go. This scary man. It's already over for her. She's got a lifetime in captivity now because she can never be released. She's never grown up in the wild. Thankfully, she, once she's been hand-reared in a few more months, she can go and join our langers in a big enclosure. I mean, it's nothing, obviously, compared to what she would have in the wild, and that's what we're, we're trying to get across, you know, to try and not support animals exploited in tourism or in the pet trade. Although it's really cute to see her running about, we don't want her here. We want her where she's supposed to be. Put her under serious interrogation so far. Well, no, she refused to be electronically interviewed, so... Obviously, she's executed her right to silence and not say anything. Going on her teeth, she hasn't started losing her baby teeth yet, so she's it's probably only about 12 weeks. Yeah, I thought she was pretty young. Yeah. yeah. Too young to be hanging out in the grass, huh? She does feel quite warm. So you yeah, said she, she has been shivering, she has been shaking. She, we've offered her water, but she hasn't really um, had anything to drink. But she has been shivering the whole time. Yeah, which is strange because she's, she's actually really hot. The worrying thing for me straight away is the fact it's a 30 degree day outside. It must have been at least 40 inside this bag, yet this little puppy is shivering. You know there's a, there's a bowl full of it there. When they're that young, they have this really poor ability to keep their own body temperature in the normal range. They overheat very quickly and they get cold very quickly. So for her to go through this today, it's really going to push her to the limits. Uh, i got a funny feeling. <laughs> this is this is why I'm here, right? Yes, this is James. Her pet mini pig's behaviour is causing some big problems. He's a bit of a demolition man, isn't he? I think he can dig a hole faster than I could with a shovel. The council is not appreciating the holes that he's putting in the park, and they're asking me to keep him on the lead at all times, even in an off-leash park. <laughs> To be honest, I came down here thinking, oh, geez, the council's overreacting again. But you see the holes he digs. He is making a mess down here. Thanks, James. This foraging behaviour, this digging, is a normal thing for pigs to do. But here in the city, it doesn't work because the council are really on Anna's tail. I think they're at the point of almost asking me to not take him to the park. <laughs> I guess the only other solution is for me to move to a rural area, and I certainly don't want to do it, but the last thing I want to do is have to give him up. I love him. I couldn't imagine not having him around. Push, push, push. In the New South Wales country town of Maitland, 16-week-old Mitzi is getting ready for her life-changing journey to the Bondi Referral Hospital, Sash. She may appear to be a normal kitten, push, push, push. But there is something terribly wrong. To see her when she twitches and if she has a seizure, it's so scary. Hello, Puss Puss. It's like having a baby again. She's very, very loving. Mitzi had a tough life from day one. Dumped as a baby, she was taken in by Melita's daughter, Jessica, and her partner, Chris who run a private rescue shelter for cats. When they took the orphan in for a routine microchipping, Mitzi's luck took a turn for the worse. Pretty much as soon as the, the needle went into her neck, she had a really violent seizure. She spent about a week and a half completely paralysed down her left side. Um, so she sort of eventually, she started getting a little bit more movement, um, but at first we were hand feeding her and dripping water into her mouth with a syringe. Good kid. Really scared for her, really. She's, she's so little. Wow. That's quite dramatic, mate. 
May tells me that for the last week, Dusty has been walking and running in a really bizarre way. She doesn't know what's caused it. She has no idea. What she does know is that it's not normal. That's really something. It's very rare to see that. That is definitely not normal. It's almost like someone has control of his legs with little puppet strings and they're, they're pulling them up and down. But it must be awful for him because he just really struggles to get around. You come about the way you walk, yeah? Dusty has been with May for a year. We'll see what we can do, huh? The donkey arrived at the shelter in terrible condition with one eye missing. How did he lose his eye, do you know? I, look, I have no idea. He was just like that when he came to yes. the shelter? Yeah. yeah. Now, with this walking, yep. a recent thing? Yes, and it seemed to start off with one leg and then alternate, and now it's in both legs. And I'm just a worried, bit worried he's distressed. Yeah. The thing that bothers me the most is that if we can't do anything, where is this leading to? It's all mate. At Sash, four-month-old trainee police puppy Ken is in agony. I knew something was wrong because I'm on night work at the moment and he didn't bother me, he didn't wake me up. Went out to see why he was so quiet and I noticed a, a large lump on the side of his jaw. This is probably as close to a police dog's mouth as I'll ever get. <laughs> <laughs> he may only be a baby, but emergency vet Lisa Chimes is treating Ken with a healthy respect. Okay, that is really swollen. It's like a golf ball. It came up very, very quickly, within six hours. And he's really lethargic and just yeah. not himself because he's 100 miles an hour, he never stops. Not a great sign. Mm. Let's just check you out. I'm a puppy tragic, I am. Yeah, um, I've been in the dog unit for uh, nearly 25 years. And uh, in that period of time, I probably would have had over 100 pups at home. You get very attached to them and um, it breaks your heart when you see things like that, yeah. And so he has got a fever. Mm -hmm. His temperature's 39.7, yeah. so uh, up a normal for him, what I, I'd say would be 39 max. So, yeah. so that would explain why he's really not feeling very well at all. Yeah. So basically, I think what, what we need to do is admit him to hospital. I'm not going to know much until I actually can get a good feel. And he's so sore there, he just, yeah. he's not going to let me do oh, it without fine. sedation. That's fine. <laughs> now, you be a good boy now. I know, you be a good boy. Poor bugger. What I need to do is weigh him, and then that can give us a good indication of how old he is and whether he's going to be able to survive. About 45, 46 grams. He's right on the borderline of, of a safe weight. Oh, sweetie. Lisa must now act fast to get vital nutrients into the young possum system. You can go in my pocket. This is basically a milk supplement that we can we use for orphaned animals. It's got glucose in it, it gives them fluid. This is replacing his mother's milk, so if he doesn't get it, he's not going to survive. All right, all right, all right. Have a drink and then you can go into a warm bed. Lisa's trying to tempt the orphaned ringtail possum with some much needed milk supplement. This little girl's chances of survival are pretty slim, but She's arrived on our doorstep and she's got hair and let's give it a go. Why not? She deserves a chance, doesn't she? Hey, and you like your milk? You do? There you go, he's taking it. You are so tiny. Our goal is with her to get her off to a wildlife carer because they're equipped to look after these little guys 24 hours a day and that's going to be her best chance. Come on, have a little bit more. Specialist wildlife carer Beverly has just arrived and is waiting to take custody of the orphan. Oh, she's so adorable. I must say I'm getting a bit attached. Well, I think we'll have to call her Lisa. <laughs> Little Lisa! <laughs> Lisa the possum is adorable and it is sad to say goodbye to her and it was difficult when I was putting her back in the pouch and the little tail was holding onto my finger. Little tail. There you go. They've lost mum, they've lost all the immunity that they would get from mum and um, they really struggle, yeah. Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. 
click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.